Hey guys, this is TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week's video, I wanted to talk about sunglasses. Now, we have done a sunglass video in the past, and basically, the gist of that video was how to find the best glass for your face, or how to find a glass that suits your face perfectly. I think that, that was the title of it. Nonetheless, the link to that video will be below because that's good base work for you to get knowledge from. However, in this video, we kind of wanted to tackle the same, the same topic, but we wanted to focus in on one of the tips that we gave. Now, there's various tips to this, you know, different glass shapes suit different face shapes, and, and a good way to determine your face shape is obviously asking somebody else. Uh, you could do the eraser on a mirror method, if you want to know what that is. Again, the link will be below to that video. And of course, the, the more the most basic and obvious method would be to try the glasses on themselves. But, but now nowadays, with online stores, brick and mortar stores are becoming more and more obsolete. Nowadays everything is almost online shopped and one of the hardest things to shop online for are sunglasses and eyewear. Reason being is because you can't physically try on. There are various virtual try on methods that they have which you know is a good attempt however I don't find them useful at all. I've tried them a couple of times but I just don't it's just, just not the same as putting on the glass itself. So the best method that I found so far is try at home methods. Um, companies like the company that we'll be talking about today called Seesaw Scene do a great job. So basically what they do is they, they, they send you up to five pairs of sunglasses for you to try at home. So if you go into their website, as you can see, they have a vast array of sunglasses. They have almost any style that you can think of. They have a lot and offer a very reasonable price. I think they're all under $100 to be honest. I don't think I saw anything over that. You pick five glasses that you want and they send you a box or the five glasses that you chose in a box to your house. Now, I would recommend to choose five different styles. So don't choose one style and choose three different colors of that same style. My recommendation to you would be if you're still unsure what shape would fit your or suit your face best, pick five different styles, you know, that, that are nowhere near the same. That way you can cover a lot of variability. So what happens is they send you a box with the five styles you chose, you try them all on and you see which ones work best for you and for your face shape. And then you just return the ones that you don't want and pay for the ones you keep. And shipping and returns is actually free. So I actually decided to try out the service to show you how it works. Now, I actually have a very odd face shape, so it, it's hard for me to find sunglasses. I actually rarely wear them. So I, I did the same tactic that I'm offering to you guys. I ordered five glasses they're not the same style I covered a nice range of variability and I'm gonna see which one suits my face best so let's get started so first was the meat black now the meat black I actually very much like the style and structure of it it's a very classic glass that looks good on a lot of face shapes actually but it just so happens it doesn't look good on me one of the biggest reasons is because of my white temple so when I put the glasses on it actually spreads open which doesn't look very appealing also I find the lenses a little too big for my face shape so I'm most likely go are going to be sending those back. The next one are the clear ones and they're called the Hugo Crystal. Hugo Crystal is actually one of my favorite styles that I chose because that's actually um, trending right now that type of style and it, I actually like it. Look, it's, very, it's a very interesting concept. And again, I like the style of the glasses, but for these ones, I actually think the lenses are a little bit too small, which is actually the opposite of the first ones. And I'm having the same issue where um, the glasses are expanding where, when I put them on. And to be honest, I have that issue with almost all the glasses that I put on, but there's some that hide it better than others. So this one, I most likely am going to be sending it back. The, the next one are the wooden frames, or the these are prescription glasses. And these are the market multi-streak and they're the wooden frames, they're actually made from real wood. I actually like how these fit me a lot better. I think it might be the thicker frame, that medium sized lens that really suits my face. Also, it does expand a little bit, but I, I think, like I said, is that thick frame kind of hides that expanding. Like I said before, that there are glasses that do it better than others, better than the first ones. So this one, I actually very much like, and I might be keeping this one. The next one is the Noriega Blown Mold. Now, online, I actually like this style a lot. However, the coloring kind of makes me seem like it's for a, a, a woman's pair of glasses instead of a man's. And online, it didn't look that feminine online, but for some reason in person, it, it kind of gives that appearance. But when I threw it on, I actually very much liked it. I liked how it looked on me, and I liked the style that it, that, that it has, the widening of the glasses. So this one, I'm kind of, I'm not sure. I, I'm kind of in between with this one, if I should send it back or keep it. And the final one is the classic Club Master. Um, I actually like this style. I've used this style before and I like how this one looks on me as well. This is a classic to have and it's a universal glass that looks good on almost all face shapes to be honest or not. So when in doubt, always try a club master. For some reason I found that they work on a lot of face shapes very well. So as you can see, 
at the end of the day, this is the best way to find a glass that fits your face shape. Now, all the tips that I gave in my previous video, they work, but they're all theoretical, you know? And you might be missing out on a, on a glass that might have a, a shape that says, you know, that in theory shouldn't work with your face, but maybe once you put it on, it actually does. So at the end of the day, the best way to go is always try and iron the sunglasses. It is the 100% sure way that you'll be satisfied with the final product you get. And with companies like these, you can send it back and not have to worry to pay shipping. So you stay in the convenience of your house and you get the benefits of a brick and mortar store. So that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the like up button. Also subscribe. I put out two videos every week. Thank you guys for watching.